hello thank you so much for ordering a general with me and thank you so much for being patient with me during this time i will email you to let you know um your special treat so and also your your cancer guys yeah, so let's see what's going on with you Okay, I keep picking up on like a street post for you and I feel like you need to be mindful of the direction that you're going into. I do feel like you're going to have to leave something behind or you need to be mindful of um, a certain relationship within your life because I'm picking up that whatever change or whatever pull you're going into, I feel like you're going to have to be able to like really be concrete with whatever it is. And whatever direction that you're going into and I feel like you are gonna have to be able like you're gonna have to like leave people or something behind okay and I feel like you don't really want to do it like a part of you like you really don't want to but you're gonna have to because I feel like you're being pulled in the direction that's meant to happen so just go with it to be honest You have a lot of positive cards, like, and a lot of major cards and aces. So, really confirming what I felt like you're going into a new direction, like you're going into a certain pool. Okay. The kind of person that you are. I heard the word gifted. Like, you're really gifted, whether it's spiritually or um, you have a lot of talents. I feel like you are a bit of a prodigy. Like, you can do a lot that you set your mind to. I also feel like you're really forgiving. Um, I also feel that with this, like, you're quick to get things done. Um, you're quick to solve problems. I also feel that, like, you don't mind shutting the door on things like if you feel as if it's dragging or you feel as if it's really not needed in your life but i feel that like you you do see the good within people and you tend to like just have a really sweet heart and like a forgiving heart and that can kind of be your downfall sometimes but i feel that like you know you're ooh, yeah and uh, that can like really hurt you in a way because you know like you can forgive people who are like really really not trustworthy and just a waste of time to be honest I feel like with this like you are really maturing and um, you're seriously going on like a new journey like you're being pulled to do something and like you're destined to do something so seriously go with it like go with this um go with the flow go with the uh, pull of direction that you're going into because it's happening for a reason okay with the judgment card this talks about you know things ending and things beginning so you're maturing like you're you're kind of young you know like yeah so you know you still have a lot of learning and growing up to do but i feel like you are really really mature for your age and um you're on a good path you I feel like you have a good head on your shoulders you have a lot going for yourself you know just just accept things for what they are and like yeah you have really beautiful things sitting your way but you're still holding on you're still holding on maybe you don't want to change maybe you are afraid of changing maybe you know like you're afraid of leaving things behind or like you feel this like this transformation with you but a part of you it's just like no I really don't want to go through it but I feel like you should yeah it's like that fear of the unknown like you don't want to you don't want to be that failure you know you don't want to like you know put your all into something and like you get some setbacks but I feel like whatever it is that you're destined to go through like it's going to be good I feel like you're going to have to develop some some tough skin to be honest you are gonna have to cut some people out but you're seriously um starting a new journey with a trademark okay and you're seriously um you're on a good path and also tying into the world card like you're on a good path so you're gonna be fine your mindset i feel like with this you may be wanting to control something 
Um, I keep hearing the word destined, like you're destined to do something. So seriously, go with the flow. Um, I'm also picking up that like you need to be mindful of setting boundaries within something and I feel like you shouldn't settle for less when it comes to people maybe you know you're trying to keep a strong mind when it comes to people and temptations and you know like you're trying to create structure and order within your life um you're really concrete on wanting things your way or like just having or putting things in a proper place but I feel like with this path like just go with the flow to be honest Yeah, this is like seriously a blessing from your God and your angels. Like I feel like the okay, I feel like the more you fight it, the more it's gonna be difficult for you. These cards did not want to go back into the deck, and it's like a bunch, so I'm just gonna go with it. Okay. Be careful if you're rushing into things. I really feel like this is you like just wanting things your way. Also um i feel like once again with this i just i feel like just go with the flow like i feel like you have things in order you you know what you want but just go with the flow girl go with the flow also be careful of um your temper and like you being big-headed um you are very adventurous you're very hungry for new opportunities i do see growth heading your way once again, you're moving, whether it's spiritually, um, you're, you're going on a new journey, you're going on a new path. Like I said, whether it's spiritually or you're, you're seriously moving or you're traveling to new adventures. Okay, you're showing up as a page. You have so much more to learn. You have so much more to go through and so much more to conquer, so keep your head up. You must understand your power because you have more power than you think. You're a little bit spiritual. You seriously are, or like you're really intuitive. Um, I feel like you have the energy. For some reason, I'm picking up on the magician. Like, you have really good karmic energy, to be honest. Also, with this, you shouldn't wear yourself. Do be careful of casual dating um, or like people just wanting you for sex. Yeah, be careful of like deception and like some weirdness going on. If you do feel some odd energy, I do feel like you need to take some time out to you, to yourself and to reflect. Also, you're thinking about business opportunities and opportunities to grow yourself um, in a more professional setting. You're kind of indecisive from wishy-washy upon what it is that you want to do, but I honestly feel like you need to find a balance and go with the flow. Help us around you. Your God and your angels are like, yo, just trust me. I'm there for you. I got you. Once again, be careful of casual dating. Um, you may get sick around this time or there may be thoughts of like fears of STDs or fear of a lack of security within something. I'm picking up letting go. Like you need to let go of something. So if you're holding on to a relationship, a past project that's really not blossoming the way that you want it to or certain traits about yourself then you know you know what you got to do new adventures think long term for real but let's get into the nitty gritty um i do feel like if you are in a relationship or like if you are suspicious of a relationship the energy is there of like you feeling really unsure about something i feel like if you are in a relationship then you may just be in a relationship just to be in one or maybe you're dealing with someone who just wants to not be lonely anymore okay because i feel like there's a compromise like this maybe this is not even a relationship like there's a um a partnership whether it's just a friendship maybe an actual relationship um, or maybe the thoughts within yourself. I feel like there's some mystery going on or like your intuition is detecting some shadiness, okay? I feel like it's going on for a reason. Do not feel like you're too much into your head. And really ask your guardian angels, hey, why am I getting these odd feelings? What's going on? Is there anything that I should be aware of? And I feel like your guardian angels will let you know, you know, what it is that you're dealing with. I feel like you do need to protect yourself, um, when it comes to sexual activities, to be honest, I feel like, uh, you are like, I'm thinking of the, like, your God, your angels are giving you something. Yeah. Like you are receiving something karmically, whether it's good or bad. I do feel like you may go through some delays, maybe some disappointments, um, with someone who's really cocky. Or someone who's just like 
just weird there may be a fire sign aries leo and sagittarius sis. this may be their sun and moon and other rising i'm picking up that like this may be a connection like a sexual connection or an intimate connection and i feel like there may be another party involved or there was another party involved okay um and I feel like you need to be mindful of you putting your like too much energy into this, to be honest. And if this is someone who, you, who you've dealt with in the past, you need to cut cut some cords with them because they're sure, they're, they are still popping up um, within the cards, okay? Because I'm reading for your energy. And it's really not good for past lovers to pop up within the cards, especially if they are in the past. Because it's like there's some unfinished business, like you're still thinking about them or like emotionally or spiritually like you're still holding on to them so cut the cord okay i do feel that like you are growing spiritually and like you must share and expand your wisdom i do feel like you you are going to receive some beautiful messages from your guardian angels and you will grow tremendously um if you are single i feel like either you are in a relationship that's kind of rocky or you're single and like you're still connected to somebody but I do feel that, like, your next partner will be really, really good. So, because I feel like you are really over the games, you're over lies, you're over deception. And I feel like you have a more concrete understanding of what it is that you want when it comes to love. And I feel like your God and your angels are going to send you someone who you can connect with. Someone who's on the same wavelength as you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I honestly feel like, you know, your guardian angels will send you somebody really, really sweet. And this may be a twin flame for you. But, you know, get to know each other. Understand each other. And, uh, you know, see where it goes. I feel like they may be um, another water sign. I, f I feel strong connection with the Pisces. This may be their sun and moon and or their rising. Okay. I feel like you will meet this person through travel. You will meet this person like it will be a face-to-face -face connection. I don't feel like you will meet this person on the internet. Um, this will be face-to-face -face, whether it's at school or randomly in the store or maybe you're driving and like you just look over and like you just see this person looking at you and y'all exchange information at a stoplight like whatever. I just feel like you're going to meet this person through like face-to-face -face, um, while you are out and about. And I feel like it's going to be like a love at first sight kind of connection. So that's really interesting. Um, but I do feel that like, I also feel like this is going to be a really good energy for you to have like job interviews or like for you to like negotiate with people or for you to like network and like really get yourself out there. Because I see like you're growing and expanding yourself like whatever the case may be i just feel like you're growing and like you're meeting new people and like you're meeting new friends who, who are like really going to understand you i also feel that like um you're gaining some wishes but i feel like you need to cut you need to cut some shit out because i feel like you're wishing too much and it's honestly time for you to let your actions like put your work in let your work speak for you and allow for yourself to like be mindful of the things that you wish for because some of your wishes are like kind of, not trying to be mean they're kind of foolish okay so or like maybe the timing is off i'm picking up that like either your wishes are kind of foolish or the timing is not right for you or like you aren't really putting the proper work in to get what you want during this time so basically the timing is off um also, I feel like you need to be mindful of just cutting out the bullshit. Wait, okay, when it comes to wishes, let me say that differently because saying they're kind of foolish is a bit harsh, so I take that back. Like, I feel like you need to be mindful of realistic wishes. Like, write out all your wishes and make a list of realistic or fantasy, like which ones are more realistic which ones are just more of a fantasy you want to fulfill kind of deal okay that kind of round but anyway um yeah so because because the angel not well the angels the angels and the cards they're like yeah you need to cut it out when it comes to some of your wishes um i'm also picking up that like there's some arrogant energy around you so be careful of like you being too big-headed or like you being too full of yourself because I feel like, you know, that can kind of rub people the wrong way sometimes. I feel like you you are really, really pretty. 
like you're giving off really really pretty vibes and uh, people like they may feel that like you're a bit stuck up and like they don't really know how to take you yeah um i do see some some uh arguments when it comes to air signs for some reason like i really don't feel like you're going to get along with air signs aquarius is gemini's and libras um so like there may be a lot of differences between you and those signs and this may be their sun their moon and all their rising or like maybe people who just come off like really aloof and like really defensive and really cold but I do feel like you need to compromise with yourself during this time. I feel like new and beautiful things are coming into your life. I feel like you're gaining a new mindset. I feel like you are becoming more mature with things. And I just honestly see you growing. Like, your cards are really, really, really good. Like, I really feel like you're growing. Um, and, like, you're paving the way for yourself. So, like, if you've been feeling stuck or... You know, like, you know, like, if you've been dealing with some delays, like, I feel like you're going to be fine. Like, don't even worry about it. Yeah, even the cards are like, you're going to be completely awesome. Happiness coming into your life. I honestly feel like you will have a relationship with somebody really, really soon. And, um, you know, like, it, this has potential to, like, really, really grow into something awesome. I feel like new people are coming within your life, new family, whatever the case may be. I feel like finances are going to be pretty damn awesome. So I'll be uh, quite frank with you. Um, and I feel like you're learning from your experiences and you're growing. And, like, you are becoming more wiser. So that's really, really awesome. I'm picking up on a grandmother figure for some reason that's trying to connect with me. And she's talking about Violet. Um, maybe this is a name or maybe she likes the color like violet or purples. Um, maybe she likes um, those types of flowers. Um, because I'm picking up that like she really, really liked flowers and she had a, um, a nice garden. And she really liked summer, summertime, like spring, summer were like her favorite seasons. This may be your spirit guide or someone who you know. Okay. Um, she's also telling me that, um... Be careful of shopping or like just be aware of like when you're shopping, maybe like you shouldn't spend too much or maybe you're going to meet someone while you're shopping. It just depends. So create a budget because she's saying budget, just budget your stuff. Okay. But I honestly feel like it would be completely awesome. Okay. I heard the word marriage. So maybe a really big um, potential that you're going to meet someone who's who's um marriage material or maybe someone is going to see you as marriage material or maybe you're just going to go to like a lot of weddings this year a lot especially like in the summertime because i'm just picking up on like summertime love for some reason or maybe like the person who you're going to meet like uh that relationship is going to develop within the summer yeah that's really awesome I do wish you luck on every single thing that you're dealing with. I I honestly see beautiful things heading your way. But, you know, be mindful of your intuition. You're really intuitive. So, pay attention to that. Do not ignore it. Hopefully, you enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.